so next uh, part we are going to see result and discussion study of analgesic activity by reading cell so this is the uh, template of the tables so control and test group is there nml number is there number of the reads in 10 minutes or 15 minutes it may be there for the test and the uh, control group and you have to find that average number of the reading so as you have seen the reading and already i have told that in that case we can uh, see the activity like indomethacin, aspirin, uh, diclofenac, all those drugs, those are the peripherally acting agent. We can find the uh, analgesic activity of those type of drug. Clear? Now, in this particular experiment, what for example, here you have find that 20 uh, rates. For example, just for example, I am telling that I am putting some hypothetical value like uh, uh, 8 8 9 9 10 10 this is just a hypothetical value so for, so this is the 9 average it is coming the 9 of course plus minus it will be there and after the test uh, drug it may be the 5 6 5 6 7 7 so here the it will come the 6. Now, what does it mean? If we are getting this value, what does it mean? That means the number of the reading is reduced. So, number of the reading reduced means the drug, whichever you have uh, given, the test drug that is showing the uh, analgesic activity. And what is that? that it should be uh, produce the activity through the peripheral mode. Clear? Peripheral mode of act activity it will going to so, clear. So, this is the experiment. If the uh, from control the uh, rates are not reduced, then we have to say that the drug do not have the any analgesic activity. So, hope you have understood though from this uh, data, I means this is the hypothetical thing, and you should understand that how we are writing this observation and the report and what is the uh, involvement to that. You see, here the, one of the important thing is that. Uh, we told that prostaglandin production. Now, whenever we are talking about the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug, they are inhibiting the COX 1 and COX 2. So, they are inhibiting the prostaglandin production. So, that is the mechanism through which they are useful uh, in breathing test. Clear? Thank you. So, just go through the experiment and perform the experiment. Thank you.